Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, aka The Daily Guru, and it's time for another edition of Something Old, Something New. <laughs> Today for Something Old, we're gonna go back about a decade to a record you absolutely must own. It's the Roots 1999 classic, things fall apart. When it comes to the finest music of the past few decades, almost no other band can hold their own against the roots. As they blend everything from jazz to funk to soul to R&B to hip hop, all together in a wonderfully unique sound. And there's no question that things fall apart is where it's all at its best. At its core, the sound of the roots is all about the amazing grooves they create at every turn, and there's no question that Questlove is one of the most talented musical minds of his entire generation. All across this record, the sound slides between jazzy and funky, and the bass work and keyboards throughout are nothing short of exceptional. Combined with everything from violins to breakbeat spins, Things Fall Apart truly has something for every musical fan. Then of course, there's the massive number of talented MCs found on this album. And while Black Thought and Malik B handle a majority of the lyrics, you'll also hear guest appearances from guys like Mos Def, Common, and Beanie Siegel. It's the blunt social critiques and unapologetic delivery style that vault this album to the next level. But at the same time, a single track on this album shows just how much musical range this group has. The song is You Got Me, and I've spoken about it many times before because it's such a great song. Bringing the voice of Erica Badu into the mix, this is without question one of the greatest R&B, hip hop, soul, whatever you want to call it, tracks ever recorded. And to be perfectly honest, the entire album is worth getting for this track alone. In short, Things Fall Apart has attained a classic status across a wide range of genres for a very good reason. And if somehow this one isn't in your collection, you need to change that right now. Thank me later. Today for something new, we're gonna check out the brand new release from Trey Anastasio, and it's called Traveler. It's been three years since the Fish frontman dropped his last solo release, and if there's one thing you can count on, it's that Trey never makes the same album twice. Traveler continues this trend as it kicks off with one of the most uninspiring, dragging songs Trey has ever recorded. And it's accompanied by one of the most misguided and overly engineered vocals I've ever heard. In many ways, this song serves as a perfect metaphor for the album as a whole. As much like his last few solo releases, Traveler comes off as little more than an experiment and self-indulgence. By now, any longtime Fish fan is well aware of Trey's longing to be a pop superstar, and these songs are well along those lines. But the problem is, he's far too talented to really dumb down his sound enough for it to have a much wider appeal than it already has. On Traveler, Trey also takes a bit of an odd turn as he decides to do his own cover of the gorilla song, Clint Eastwood. And while it's a little more than a novelty, the vocals from Jennifer Hartswick are superb as she always is. Oh, and Trey decides to actually remake himself on this album, covering the recent Fish song Let Me Lie, only this time he seems to get completely lost in it without his bandmates around him, and it's just awkward. To be fair, the song Pigtail is definitely the saving grace of this album, as it's one of the few tracks that doesn't make you want to turn off the record. There's also a moment in the opening of the song Scabbard where you can hear vestiges of that vintage fish sound that Trey left behind many, many years ago. And it really makes you wonder whether he's still able to compose at this level and just doesn't want to do it with fish, or this is simply a composition that he had from years ago. In the end though, the new album from Trey Anastasio is perhaps best summed up by the title of the fourth song. Land of Nod. And on the buy it or borrow it, unless you're as messed up on drugs as your average teenager at a fish show, this is a 100% bin it. Don't even bother. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you dug it. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe, leave a comment, click like, whatever you want to do. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr right here, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hey!